at 11, our very active hurricane season. WPTV First Alert meteorologist Steve Villanueva tracking a brand new tropical depression that South Florida needs to keep an eye on. He joins us with the latest. Steve. Well, Michael and Kelly, we certainly need to keep an eye on this one. This is Tropical Depression number 13. It is starting to get a little better organized. You can see the swirl in the clouds right there, and you can see the thunderstorms really starting to develop. Right now, winds of 35 miles an hour, moving pretty quickly to the west-northwest at 20 miles an hour. So here's the thinking. The thinking is that by tomorrow, it could become a tropical storm. By Saturday, just north of Puerto Rico with winds of 60 miles an hour, and then after that, it makes a run towards South Florida. Florida by Monday with winds of 70 miles an hour. Now it could still take this track right here or it could take more of the southern track and the major global models, the European and the GFS do take the southern track right here. If the system actually stays away from land, it could get a bit stronger, but if it interacts with land, it'll weaken it a little bit. Now the computer models look like this. You can see how very tightly clustered they are, taking it just north of the islands and very close to South Florida as we head towards Monday at 11 p.m. These are the hurricane models, but again, the global models take it through Cuba and into the Gulf of Mexico. So still a little bit of uncertainty in the longer term. This is the other system that we're watching in the Caribbean. This one should make a run towards the Yucatan Peninsula and then eventually work its way into the Caribbean, staying well west of South Florida.